Welcome to the College Football Bros. I'm Michael Newman. I'm Ryan Newman. And I'm Trey Newman. Trey is back just in time to preview the ACC. And we're, of course, going to start with the most dominant team in the conference. Uh, What's our first question, Trey? Will Clemson run the table in the ACC? Okay, so as always, we'll get to the answer to that question at the end of the episode. But uh, but Trey, we're putting you to work here right away. What do you think yeah, of Clemson's yeah. offense? You know, most teams, they would lose a, a generational talent like Trevor Lawrence, and they'd be hurting the following year. But that's just not the case with DJ Uyunglele. Um, You know, the way the season panned out last year, it honestly was probably the best thing going for Clemson going into this year. He got some good experience, played in a few games, meaningful games, and he just proved how how good he can be. So there's not a lot of doubt going into this year on, on how he can perform. Um, he was athletic, showed he can be efficient, uh, even big on, you know, short third down yardage, his, his big frame. Um, there's some inexperience when you look on the other aspects of the offense, you know, particularly wide receiver, but there's immense talent. As we know, they've recruited at such a high level. Justin Ross returns from his spinal issue. If he returns to form from a couple years ago or near it, you know, watch out because there's youth and blue chip guys like EJ Williams or, or Frank Ladson also on the outside. Um, and you know, one or two of the Clemson young studs is going to, they're going to break out and turn into a star. They, they just churn them out. It seems like every other year um, you got tight end. Brendan Galloway is very reliable. Uh, the only downside to, to last season's offense was there was a, there was a few too many turnovers. So they obviously got to curb that and they didn't really run the ball as well as they, they did. And you would have, thought they would with guys like ETN, but uh, I think they'll be just fine there. They'll have more of a running back by committee this year, but those guys will step up. I'm uh, I'm not overly concerned, though, about that Clemson offense. No, I, I think it's, it's probably going to be the best uh, offense in the ACC. Uwe Ungle is going to be great. We know that. We've seen it. You know, and I, normally when you lose Lawrence, ETN, like Amari Rogers, you lose a great QB wide receiver running back trio, you're worried. I don't, I'm not seeing it this year. I think they're going to be just as good practically than as as they were. The offensive line is the concern, like you said. Now they do return a couple of st- a f- few starters there, but they add in a new tackle, Walker Parks, who's kind of getting reviews of like he's bringing the nastiness a little bit back to that Clemson O line. So there might be a little addition there, just be able to kind of perk up that running game. And the Lin, J- Lin J. Dixon, who was, he's second in Clemson history uh, as far as yards per carry average, the running back. So they lose ETN, but Dixon's pretty darn good replacement. Yep. Okay. Moving on to the defense. And I think it has a chance to be the best in the country. And the main reason why is that defensive line is insane. Kind of like their, what was it? Their 2016 championship team. So they've got Brian Brzee and Miles Murphy, two five stars who started as true freshmen last year, did well. So they sky's the limit for them going forward. Tyler Davis is a great D tackle. There's just, there's way too many names on the list to go through. It is loaded and deep. Um, and James Skalski leads a, a good group of linebackers. He's back. The only loss in the secondary is Darian Kendrick to Georgia, and that's a big loss. Um, he's, yeah. He was going to be, or he was their, their best corner, um, and especially because they allowed a ton of explosive plays last year, particularly in that game against Ohio State. So um, I think the secondary, for the most part, is going to be great, and they've, they've still got, of course, a lot of experience and talented guys there, but I guess... The question mark is when you're going up against Georgia or a great team in the playoff, can that that defensive backfield be elite? Yeah, that's true. I mean, I am more confident, though, in that run defense. You, you mentioned, obviously, the line, so I'm not concerned. I think they'll get pressure on the QB, and that should help that back end, uh, those corners, because it might force the, the quarterbacks into to some hurried throws. Um, but, you know, I'm... They were 18th in passing success rate. Uh, and, Michael, you mentioned that they, they lose Darian Kendrick. They also lost linebacker Mike Jones to LSU. That's uh, another loss they'll have to deal with. But, again, it's one of those things that I'm not not overly concerned with Clemson because they, just, they got plenty of uh, blue chips because a lot of the under, the, they had a lot of underclassmen that made up a majority of their, their leading tacklers last year. So those guys are just going to continue to improve. Um, and I think the key to Clemson winning the title, well, both the ACC title and even in the national title, will be, like you said, if, the, if those corners like Andrew Booth or Mario Goodrich can lock down those receivers, that's only going to help them get over the top. 
Okay, let's uh, move on to the schedule as we consider whether they're going to run the table in the, the ACC. What do you see in the schedule, Ryan? Well, I, I mean, I can't not talk about the first game. Uh, no, you can bring up Georgia. The yes, <laughs> I, yes. I mean, I got to bring that up. Georgia, that's like the game of the year practically right out of the gate. So mm-hmm. that'll be awesome to watch. Um, they also have South Carolina, of course. They go to South Carolina. That's the game every year. But in the conference, they avoid uh, North Carolina and Miami, the two clear uh, favorites from the coastal. So they avoid both of those. So it's a very, very easy ACC slate. Even the ACC is down already in a bit, but even when when you add in the fact that they don't play the two best teams from the other side, oof, I mean, you know, they're huge favorites in every game. Yeah, schedule sets up yeah. very nicely. Uh, so let's just ask the final question. Will Clemson run the table in the ACC? What do you think, Trey? I'm saying yes, they do. Um, just because of the points you mentioned about the schedule, Ryan. Uh, and because even even with the, some of those other top dogs in the conference, they're head and shoulders above everyone. Like the ACC has four projected top 40 teams in SP+, plus, they're, them being one of them, so the other three, and they don't play them. So injuries aside, and even with a few of those, I just don't see anyone picking them off. Uh, there's a couple little trap games, but there's no way I'm confident enough in circling one where they would they would trip up and lose. Yeah, I agree. I'm I'm saying yes. I think there's a greater than 50% chance they run the table uh, in the ACC. In the last three seasons, they've only lost one ACC game, and that hardly counts because it was against Notre Dame last year, who, of course, is mm. not in the conference <laughs> now. So right. it's possible they slip up, and you bring up and it was injury. without their starting quarterback. Exactly. You bring up uh, injury being a possibility. Well, quarterback injury is where they're really susceptible this year because – Behind Uyunglele, they really don't have much. I think they just had, you know, one of their backups got drafted to Major League Baseball. So uh, there is not much there. I don't know if they get a late transfer portal addition, but for now, that's a concern. Yeah, I'm with you guys. Uh, it's just it's too hard to say like, oh yeah, I think this team might be able to pick them off. Like, no, I <laughs> just I can't realistically say that they're going to be like two touchdown favorites practically in every any game that you see on this pick on the schedule right now. So it's too big of a gap that uh, for me to go against it. So I'll say they will run the table in the ACC. OK, well, thanks for checking out this episode of the College Football Bros. We have six more ACC episodes coming out over the next six days. So subscribe if you like college football. There'll be more Clemson content coming out this week. We'll talk about some more players. So uh, turn on notifications on YouTube if you haven't already so you're notified every time an episode comes out. And we will see you tomorrow. You've been watching the College Football Bros. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and in your podcast app for college football content all year round. For bonus episodes and access to our Discord chat, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash collegefootballbros. Thanks for watching.